Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you could potentially kickstart your data career with the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Now, I'm going to be covering a lot of things here, but I will try my best to give you an overall summary of the certificate first, focusing on the highlights before jumping into more details about the eight courses that are included. I would like to emphasize that this video is sponsored by Coursera, but all opinions are absolutely of my own. I hope that sharing my thoughts on the certificate, the courses included, the skills you can learn can help you decide whether or not this is the right certificate for you. I mean, there is a free seven day trial that you can sign up for where you get to look through all materials just to see everything for yourself. So you can actually glance through the entire certificate at absolutely no cost to you. With all this said, let me just give a big shout out to Coursera for sponsoring this video and jump into the overall summary focusing on the most relevant points. There are almost 2 million people enrolled, so it is definitely highly popular. The certificate consists of 8 courses and has a near perfect average rating out of well over 100,000 reviews. It says that it's at a beginner level and I completely agree. You can take this certificate with no prior knowledge of data analytics, related experience, or degree. The recommended completion time is 6 months if you spend 10 hours a week on the courses. It's 100% online and you can learn at whatever pace that suits you. You can do as much or as little as you wish depending on how busy you are on a given day. It's entirely up to you. To be honest, lots of people complete the certificate within 2-3 to three months. You can just Google it and read about it online. Many people have definitely said that they were able to finish it quicker than the recommended time, which actually saves you quite a bit of money, as after the initial 7-day free trial period, the certificate will cost you $39 a month. So if you complete it in 6 months, it'll cost you $234, but if you're a bit quicker and you do it in 3 months, it'll only cost you $117. Now, of course, if you prefer to take things slower or you simply just have a lot of other commitments and need more time to complete the courses, just keep in mind that the longer it takes you to complete the certificate, the more you'll have to pay. You'll learn key analytical skills like data cleaning, analysis, and visualization, and how to use tools like spreadsheets, SQL, Tableau, and R programming. Now, I know what you're thinking, R programming. Mo always bangs on about how he prefers Python over R. And frankly, that is true. I do prefer Python over R, but that is not to say that R is rubbish and useless. R is a statistical programming language, whereas Python is a general programming language. Learning R will definitely not do you any harm. And if you really want to learn Python specifically for data analytics, Google have listened and included Python in their new Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate. The course is actually probably 90% Python, and it's a great one to take if you want to develop your Python skills or take them to the next level. The other skills and tools you'll learn to use are core data analyst skills and tools for sure, as you'll certainly need to use spreadsheets to clean and analyze data and SQL to extract and manipulate data Tableau to create meaningful insights. And actually, on data visualization tools, I know that Power BI is another really popular tool, and it's also very, very good. The big differentiator between Tableau and Power BI for me is simply the fact that Power BI can only be used on Windows machines, whereas you can use Tableau on both Mac and Windows, making it more accessible. Moving on to the outcome section, you can see that by taking this certificate, you'll receive professional training from Google employees themselves. And upon completion, you'll get an employer recognized certificate from Google. I think this is really good because if you already commit your time and money to a course, you may as well commit to one from a well-known tech giant like Google, right? I mean, learning exclusively from Google employees who have been there and done it seems like a good way to learn for me. The content is really interactive with a mixture of videos, assessments, and hands-on labs. And upon completion, you should feel confident that you can apply to entry-level data analyst roles like data analyst, junior data analyst, 
or associate data analyst. But no matter the title, the key here to me is that you'll be equipped with skills for entry level roles. This certificate by no means will take you from a complete beginner to a superstar data analyst. Some skills, techniques, and knowledge can only be gained through years of industry experience. Now, let's move on to the eight courses, starting with course one, which is called Foundations Data, Data Everywhere, which focuses on introducing you to the world of data analytics. You'll learn how data analysts use various tools to drive decision making. Module two is all about the analytical thinking. You'll learn about the different roles data analysts carry out and the skills used. You'll also explore analytical thinking and how it relates to data-driven decision-making. Then you'll learn about the data lifecycle, or more specifically, how the work of data analysts often intersects with that cycle. And you'll learn more about the basic concepts involved in spreadsheets, query languages, and data visualization tools, and explore some examples of how these tools work. And finally, in module five, you'll find out about the specific jobs and tasks that analysts perform. You'll also learn how your data analyst certificate will help you meet many of the requirements for a position with companies who are looking to hire. Course two, Ask Questions to Make Data-Driven Decisions has four modules, of which the first one is around asking effective questions and solving problems. You'll check out some common analysis challenges and how analysts address them. You'll also learn about effective questioning techniques that can help guide your analysis. Then you'll explore data of all kinds and its impact on real life choices and strategies. And you will learn about how data analysts use spreadsheets in their work every day. In module four, you'll learn strategies for managing stakeholder expectations while establishing clear communication with your team. And this one is super important, and I quite like the fact that Google made a separate section for this. I also always bang on about creating solutions that my stakeholders actually want, not just building things that I think they need. You can have the best technical skills in the world if you cannot deliver customized solutions tailored to your business stakeholders' requirements and needs, then it's all for nothing, isn't it? Course three, Prepare Data for Exploration has seven modules, of which the first one focuses on data types and structures. Then you'll learn how to identify different types of bias in data and how to ensure credibility in your data. You'll also explore open data and learn about data ethics and data privacy. Then you'll learn all about databases and the best practices for organizing data and keeping it secure. You'll also explore how to manage your online presence and finally, you'll have a course challenge where you can demonstrate your knowledge of data collection, ethics, and privacy, and bias during the quiz. You will also have an opportunity to apply your skill with spreadsheets and SQL functions, as well as filtering and sorting. So basically, you get to practice everything you learned. Course four, Process Data from Dirty to Clean has six modules, of which the first one focuses on the importance of data integrity. Then you'll learn the difference between clean and dirty data, and you'll also explore data cleaning techniques using spreadsheets and other tools. You'll check out how to clean your data using SQL, and you'll learn about the processes involved with verifying and reporting data cleaning, as well as their benefits. In module five, You'll focus on crafting your resume, and then module six is a course challenge again, where you get to apply everything you've learned. So you'll demonstrate your knowledge of the importance of sample size, data integrity, and the connection of data to business objectives during the quiz. You will use your data cleaning skills and techniques in both spreadsheets and SQL, and you will document, report on, and verify your data cleaning process and results. Course five, analyze data to answer questions, focuses on data analysis. First, you'll learn about organizing your data and converting and formatting data, including how SQL queries can help you combine data. Then you'll explore the functions, procedures, and syntax involved in combining or aggregating data. Then in module four, you'll explore formulas, functions, and pivot tables in spreadsheets and queries in SQL, all of which will help with your calculations. And of course, you have a course challenge yet again to test your knowledge 
and to apply all the skills and techniques you learned. Course 6, Share Data Through the Art of Visualization, is a really exciting one as you finally get to learn Tableau to create some beautiful visualizations. You'll be introduced to key concepts, including accessibility and design thinking, so that you can move on and learn all about Tableau and explore the importance of creativity and clarity while visualizing your data analysis findings. Then you'll learn about data-driven stories and their attributes. And then finally, you'll discover how to give an effective presentation about your data analysis. You'll even learn how to anticipate and respond to potential limitations and questions that may arise. And as usual, there's a course challenge at the end where you get to apply everything you learned. Course 7, Data Analysis with R Programming, is all about, you guessed it, R Programming. And like I said, I do prefer Python, which is a general programming language, over R, which is a statistical programming language. And also, like I said, even though Python may be more popular, that doesn't mean that learning R is rubbish and it is useless. There are still lots of jobs out there where R is a skill that's needed, and Google have actually listened to student feedback and pretty much made a Python course in the form of the new Google Advanced Data Analytics Professional Certificate. If not wanting to learn R is the only thing that puts you off the certificate, I would definitely think twice about it. But ultimately, the decision is, of course, yours, and you should learn whatever you think is best for you. Anyway, in this R programming course, you'll learn about R and R Studio. You'll discover R packages. You'll examine how R can help you structure, organize, and clean your data using functions and other processes. You'll learn about data frames and how to work with them in R and how to generate and troubleshoot visualizations. You'll also explore the features of R and R Studio that will help you create more aesthetically pleasing visualizations. In Module 5, you'll explore R Markdown. So this section is all about documentation and reports. And of course, there is a course challenge at the end here as well. And finally, the case study. You'll be introduced to capstone projects, case studies, and portfolios. You'll get an overview of two possible tracks to complete your case study. You can use a data set from one of the business cases provided or search for a public data set and develop your own business case. You'll learn how to discuss your portfolio and highlight specific skills in interview scenarios. You'll even have the opportunity to create and practice an elevator pitch for your case study. And last but not least, you can claim your certificate badge that you can easily share on LinkedIn and you'll also be introduced to job search benefits that you can claim as a certificate holder. And that's it. These are my thoughts on the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. I hope that by giving you an overall summary, by highlighting the key points and by going into more detail on each of the eight courses, I was able to give you more insight into the structure of the certificate, the skills and techniques you can learn, the cost and the time commitment so that you can decide easier whether taking this certificate is the right one for you. And remember, you always have the option to sign up for the seven day free trial to check out the entire certificate. And if you don't like it, just make sure you cancel in time. And if you do like it, I'd recommend you get it done quicker so you can save yourself some money. Thanks a lot for watching and I shall see you in the next one.